so now that I have your complete attention I'm hoping I have your complete attention in this video I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how you can actually start creating natural hair content on your mobile phone or your DSLR camera whatever means it is I'm gonna put you guys through the steps so if you are interested then honey you need to keep on watching grab a glass of juice a glass of wine some popcorn sit back relax and it's gonna be a blast okay okay so now that we are relaxed in this video like i said i want to really guide you guys on how to start creating natural hair content so if you are someone who is considering starting to create content and you have natural hair and you're like what can i what can i possibly create i want to tell you that the community the online community for natural hair is so supportive i'm telling you that you can come on here show us how you lay your edges and you could go viral the support you're going to get is going to be crazy and that way you can start creating content and you can start getting deals and you know all of those stuff so if you are someone who is contemplating starting out creating natural hair content you know you've just been thinking about it I'm here to encourage you because you're gonna get a lot of support I'm talking from experience because I know that some of my content on Instagram here too on YouTube has gone viral has you know blown up and it's natural hair so there's a very supportive online community here for you if you are looking for one way or the other to start creating content if you have natural hair sweetheart honey go into it it's gonna be it's gonna be so amazing to have you as part of us <laughs> so back to the business of the day I'm so excited to be filming this I want this to be a very comprehensive video very detailed video a very inspiring video so I'm gonna take you guys on the steps to how you can start creating natural hair content so let's just hop right into the video without too much talk okay the first thing you're gonna be needing is something to record yourself you're gonna need a recording device which in this case I'm going to advise that you start off with using your mobile phone sweetheart you need <laughs> You need to maximize the phone you have that is something that I did I started off YouTube with an iPhone 7 guys an iPhone 7 so I don't want it to seem like oh she's using a Canon camera and then she's letting us use her mobile phone but the thing is the thing that people don't tell you is owning a camera comes with a lot of responsibilities it comes with a lot a lot of responsibilities and i'm talking getting lighting getting equipment mic every single thing tripod all these things matter and all these things are things that you would want to just keep on adding to your set just so that you can get the best quality so if it's something that you're not ready for ah it's going to weigh you down sweetheart it's going to weigh you down so that is why i would advise starting off with your mobile phone if you don't know already i started off with my mobile phone and i have a video which i would leave in the cards just so that you guys can check it out how to maximize your mobile phone because i mean the quality i got once i was using my mobile phone was quite amazing so if i could get that with an iphone 7 i don't know what phone you're using you can definitely check out that video it would guide you on how to go around your camera settings and all of that just so that you can get the best out of your mobile phone okay so yeah that is it if you're using a dslr camera then that is bomb so you're good to go basically so we're gonna go on to lighting which is actually so important so we're going to go right into lighting right now so the next thing you're going to need you're going to need good in fact great great amazing lighting so if you are just starting out I want to advise that you start off with using a like your natural light so I want to advise that you start off with using sunlight so that is going to be the best that's, that's going to be your best friend because it's free I mean you're not paying for it if you're starting you really don't want to start spending so much money getting all this artificial light I'm going to show you guys the set which I used to use before I got like complete artificial lighting so so I'll have my phone on the window because I didn't have a tripod for my phone I have my mirror beside it and that acts as my viewfinder so with that small mirror I'm able to see what I'm doing and then occasionally I can get like eye contact with you guys and then look back at the mirror and then that way I can see what I'm doing and then I can also have eye contact with you guys so yeah that was basically my setup it was so easy I mean I didn't have to get any equipment I didn't have to, I didn't have to get a tripod I 
currently the setup i have the lighting setup i have is quite complex not so complex but then i have a lot of artificial lighting so i'm going to show you guys what i'm working with right now so i have a soft box right here and then i have my camera right here as well as my ring lights just right here and then i also have another soft box right here so this right now that's my lighting setup so this might be too much for you if you are just starting out i didn't have this when i started out so basically start with sunlight start with natural light is the best it's gonna give you a very soft look just to start out and then with time you can get start getting more you know camera and gear and all of that so yeah um if you are someone that wants to go ahead to get artificial lights and i'm sure you might probably already know about ring lights so i mean ring lights are in almost every home right now a lot of girls have personal ring lights they don't even have to be doing makeup so if you have a ring light that's perfect you can go ahead to use your ring light as your tripod and then just mount your phone on there i'm going to be showing you guys all of this but then you can mount your phone on there and then you can start filming with your ring light okay so that is another option if you don't have a ring light or your window is not suitable then you can just stack up books or maybe some cartons or some boxes and just stack things up just so that your phone can be stable if you are just starting out with your phone I mean I want to assume that that is all you have at this point so you can't afford for it to fall down and break so you have to make sure that your phone is stable while you are filming okay A lot of new ring lights usually have this um, mirror okay so that could actually act as your viewfinder if you want to use like or oh, you want to start out with a ring light you can get the ones that have the mirrors just right here and then that can act as your viewfinder that way you can see what you're doing and you can also be filming at the same time or if you're using your window have like a small mirror beside or behind your mobile phone but then if you are using your ring lights okay if you're using a ring light try to make sure that your ring light has a mirror or just keep like a big mirror behind your ring light and i'm saying have a mirror because i want you to film with the back camera which is so important because ah, you need to watch that video which i talked about earlier it's going to explain a lot of these things so using your back camera is going to give you great quality it's going to give you the best quality out of your mobile phone so don't use the front camera right here this one is not going to give you the best so try to use the back camera that way you get very crisp clear quality out of your mobile phone okay so yeah um next up next up we have our mobile phone set we have lighting set up next up i want to talk about backgrounds okay so if you haven't watched my other video on how i used to film in my former bedroom or the same bedroom but then i renovated my bedroom so if you haven't watched that vlog you can watch it out but i have a video where i talk about how i used to film with my old room so i had a pink wall and then i would you know hang a crepe material that way i can get like a white wall because white is very vibrant white is sleek white is you know it's, it, it pops so your hair is going to pop as well this is because recently i got a couple of comments on some of my old videos actually my old videos so i got a couple of comments saying that they were not able to see what exactly i was doing because you know you're doing brown hair on a brown background if you've seen any of my previous videos you'd know that my wardrobe used to act as my background so i mean filming black hair on like a very dark background wasn't it wasn't cool it wasn't it wasn't nice so i got a couple of complaints so learn from my mistake at, i mean at that time i didn't have anything to start with that was like <laughs> that was like all i had i just sit in front of my window and i film like i didn't even consider the background as something that was so important but learn from my mistake don't film with a dark background watch my video again watch my video on how you can set up your own background it would help you to know how you can just create your own studio or your own background setup from literally things you can find at home easily so i'll leave the link in the description box just so that you guys can check it out okay so that is it about background make sure that your background is well illuminated it is bright just so that your hair can pop okay
yeah so now we're going to move on to how you can actually set up your camera so if you have a tripod lying around the house please bring it out <laughs> you're gonna make use of it right now so this is like a selfie stick this is not like a tripod tripod so I can't possibly have this stable on the surface because it's not it's not a tripod it's a selfie stick for taking selfies and you know vlogging and all of that but then if you have a tripod just set it up like this i want you guys to set it up like this if you are filming for for youtube this is typically how you want to have your camera set up landscape mode can you guys see that so this is how you would typically film for YouTube. Now, if you want to film for Instagram, if you're using your mobile phone, also if you're using your DSLR camera, film this way, like this, in like the portrait mode, not landscape. So now, if you don't actually film like with the landscape format, you're gonna get those black bars you usually see on some YouTube videos. So if you're creating content and you're wondering, why am I having like these black bars? It's because you're filming your videos like this, as opposed to the YouTube format, which is like this. So make sure that your video, your mobile phone is in the landscape mode like this, if it's for YouTube and like this this for Instagram okay, so before we actually go ahead to set up our camera we're going to clean our lens and if you want if you want to use the front camera I don't know maybe you just like using front camera but I would advise back camera any day anytime so clean the front and then clean the back as well that way it, you get that crisp clear quality and in our lens now and I'm going to set up my mobile phone on my try on my ring light <laughs> so hey guys <laughs> now i want to show you guys how i'm going to be able to you know set up my camera so i've adjusted my settings just so that you guys can see you can see how here is dangling a little bit so let's just add our mobile phone please clean your lens if you touch it again just to make sure that you have like crisp clear quality so because we are filming with the back camera this is how i'm going to position my mobile phone you can see it's still dangling Did you guys see so this right here now we're just going to lock this and just turn it basically and your mobile phone is stable now we can now adjust this to where we are and start filming so okay so this is typically how i would film if i'm to film with my mobile phone or youtube with my camera like this so now if we want to film for instagram we're going to adjust this right here let me loosen this up drag this upwards and there you have it you have the portrait mode right now okay so this is filming for instagram can you guys see that you see how we just made that work so this is typically how you're gonna be filming if you're using your ring light okay so yeah because we are filming with the back camera the back camera is gonna be facing us and then that way you get that crisp clear quality if i have a long youtube video and i want to create like a short one minute instagram video out of that youtube video then you want to film like this because this way you get your youtube format and then for instagram you can scale it down to i think the instagram ratio of one is to one so yeah if you want to film for both instagram and youtube then film your content like this okay so now we have that you know sorted out we have the camera lighting background everything set so if you're new to content creation you possibly don't have like an exact hairstyle in mind so you might want to get inspiration so you can definitely go on to pinterest pinterest is you're going to see a lot trust me and then by just scrolling you're gonna get like a lot of ideas so let's just go on to pinterest right now to see what exactly we can get from pinterest i would also advise you can go through instagram but if you're someone who's trying to save up data then <laughs> then instagram might not be your best friend because instagram consumes a lot of data especially if you're in nigeria and you know you know how it is here so yeah now we are on pinterest and you can see you can see like <laughs> You're gonna see a lot trust me you're gonna see a lot of ideas and by just scrolling through you're going to have like inspiration and get like you know 
one thing just pops in your head and you're like oh okay i feel like i can do this so yeah if you are stuck you don't have ideas you're like okay i want to start creating natural hair content what am i going to do sweetheart just go to pinterest pinterest is going to help you go to youtube just surf and you can also go to instagram but instagram would consume a lot of your data so pinterest you know i don't think pinterest consumes as much data so you can go on pinterest and get ideas and get inspiration and then you can know what exact hairstyle you want to film okay so let me just cut you guys real quick so this is supposed to be like a series if you have seen from the title or maybe not in the title but basically this is supposed to be a series so i want to have like this as a part one and then get like a part two and a part three but i need to know that you guys are interested in it so in the part two i want to do like a behind the scenes with me so that you guys actually see how i set up how i do my hair tutorials like i'm gonna film like a hair tutorial with you guys and you guys can see like the behind the scenes and how i set up and all of that and show you how to make your videos engaging and detailed so if you guys want that then let me know down in the comment section give this video a thumbs up as well just so that i know that you guys enjoy this one i would want to part two so after the part two we might have or we will have a part three where i want to actually show you guys how to edit natural hair videos and make them as engaging as possible so if you want that as well then like this video and i'll be more than happy come on i'll be more than happy to film this for you guys so i need your feedback if you like this one then definitely would have like tons so yeah um let me just jump right back to where we stopped so if you have everything set up now you want to start filming for natural hair videos you want to make sure that <laughs> all your products are with you it's uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be advisable have all your products with you just so that you, you're gonna have like a smooth ride you're not going to get leaving conditioner after leaving conditioner you're not going to get rubber bands you're not going to get attachments and all of that so if you are filming make sure you have like your all your products within your reach it just makes the filming process easy for you so this like like a pro tip so have everything nearby within your reach you can just reach for it grab it and you continue your video so you get so you have your products you have your setup everything is set and you're ready to start filming for natural hair videos you want to show as much as you can if you want to make your content engaging show every single thing with natural hair we want to see every single detail we want to know the kind of tools you used to achieve that look we want to see how you used your flexi rod set we want to see the brand we want to see how you used it so we want to see how you use that tool to achieve that result so that if someone wants to recreate your look it's going to be easy for us okay so you have a you have a spray bottle sweetheart show us that spray bottle you have a rat tail comb show us that this is a particular comb you used to achieve that look you have this one show us that this is exactly what you used to achieve that look so basically you want to get as much detail as you can that way it gets engaging and people look forward to your videos because they know you are so detailed and you give like key details you don't miss out any details so yeah that, that is something that you can do to elevate your content and make sure that your content is engaging another thing you can do is to have b-roll of your product so b-rolls are basically you showcasing the product to your audience so another form of b-roll could be showing us your products like this like without your face in it you could just show us okay this is what exactly i'm going to be using and then you can also show us a b-roll of the product let's say this is a product now you can go ahead to show us that this is the product this could be your b-roll this is this is one way people show a lot of youtubers and content creators show the product so they bring it once they are doing their hair and then they show it so you could do that or you could, could actually go ahead to film the products first or after and then you can now film your whole process so that you have the product like on its own you're showing us the product on its own okay so yeah um that is how you can spice things up if you want to be extra with your bureau you could have like you could have your product spinning and you know a lot of all those stuff that is like 
that is that is being extra so if you want to be extra you can go ahead to spice up your b-rolls just so that it is as engaging as possible and people look forward to your editing so yeah make sure that your editing is top notch all right if you want the part three then you should like this video so that you know how to edit and you know get a rolling <laughs> so it can be quite difficult to have eye contact i always talk about having eye contact with your audience but it can be quite difficult when you're making a hair video so try as much as possible to have eye contact at least in the intro and in the outro of your video so when you have like the finished result try to connect with us and you know let's see through you unless you know get like eye contact with you that way i feel like you connect more with your audience so yeah uh, make sure you have eye contact at least in the intro of your video and at the outro of your video as well okay so speaking of intros and outros so you want to show us like details of your hair i want you guys to show us like give us like 360 spin girl give us 360 spin let us see what your hair looks like if you can't do that try to get like different angles of your hair front back side so make sure you give us all the details in your intro and your outro as well as in the tutorial itself so get like different angles of your hair and then you can go for it okay you can't forget her at home please wherever you kept your personality bring her to the table your personality is what is going to you know be that spice it's gonna be like your selling point let me say it like that it's gonna be like your selling point basically so you need to bring her to the table don't leave her at home bring your personality let us see through you because i know that there is a content a natural hair content creator on youtube or no she's not on youtube she's on instagram i think her name is that girl becca i'm not sure of the handle but i think it's something becca so she smiles all through her videos i don't know it's so pretty she wants to give her audience that happy feeling that you know happy vibes and she's all like she's she smiles from the beginning of if it's a one minute video she's smiling from the beginning till the end now that is not easy but that's her personality i believe so bring your personality to the table there's something that makes you unique and there is something that people are going to fall in love with so bring your personality and own it if you want to start creating natural hair content then let me know down in the comment section if this video has you know helped you in one way or the other and yeah so that is the end of this tutorial or oh, this is the end of the part one of this series and if you guys want the part two then definitely let me know down in the comment section and i'll be more than happy to interact with you there so um yeah that is the end of this tutorial if this video was helpful give this video a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in one of my other videos so please do well to check them out and don't forget to check out the videos which i recommended for you guys okay okay so yeah that is the end of this video so thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in one of my other videos okay so bye guys